Ah, what a crazy week and a half. Over the past two weekends, I did 10 15 minute magic shows in front of an audience of about 2,000 people for each show. So if my math is right, that means that I performed in front of 20,000 people this past nine days or whatever it was. And now, I'm exhausted. But in order for any of this to make any sense, we need to go back in time. About six or seven weeks ago, my friend Martin from back home reached out to connect me with a few of his friends from out here in Vancouver. I met with Victor, and he seemed like a pretty chill dude. After getting to know him, he asked me if I would be interested in helping out with their 52nd annual Christmas production. Since commitment is my nemesis, I gave him a solid maybe. This is where things get really weird. At the end of our conversation, Victor mentioned to me that they were hoping to do a 15 minute magic show as the pre-show show. And they had been researching some magician's items and tricks online and trying to find some gimmicks they could use. At this point in the conversation, I pull out two decks of cards from my coat pocket and let Victor know that I'm a magician. I've been doing card magic for about three years now. Not professionally, I've done a couple of paid shows but mostly just as like a social tool and to put on little shows for my friends. It was just so bizarre that this guy I just met happened to be looking for a magician. It's just weird. So I continued to be non-committal, but eventually agreed to do the pre-show. I had no idea what I was actually in for. They had already lined up musicians, actors, dancers, pyrotechnics, and even trapeze artists for the actual show. Final day of shows. This is the last day. We have two shows left, and then it's all done. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to the wonderful world of theater. Now it's done. It's over. Uh, it's hard to believe that it came and went this quickly. Uh, I'm exhausted, completely exhausted, but also a little sad that it's done. So what does it feel like performing for 20,000 people? It feels great, I love it. It's one of those things where when I'm standing backstage, I get like, not nervous, but I just forget everything. I'm like, what do I say? What do I do with my hands? Where am I? Who am I? And then the moment I step on stage, I feel all the energy from the people and everything just clicks into place. And I really enjoy acting and doing things on a stage in front of people. It doesn't really feel like a massive difference having 2,000 people watch you or have 200 people watch you. Uh, similar feel on the stage. It's just bigger reactions from the audience. So it's a lot of fun. It was like a sea of people. You just look out and it's just a sea of people. So uh, long story short, my constant need for attention definitely outweighs any nervousness that could happen on stage. I really enjoyed it. I love performing in front of live audiences. It's like one of my favorite things ever. I don't do stage magic, so this was a really weird and fun experience for me uh, because I got to combine stage acting, which I've done a lot of and I really enjoy, with up-close magic, which I really love and enjoy, and I had to like smush them together and get some sort of product. It's kind of surreal knowing that 20,000 people watched you perform, um, but like, it doesn't? I don't know. It, it's so hard to explain. It feels like, on one hand, yeah, it's pretty wild and crazy, but on the other, it's just like, you just went out there and did your thing and it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I guess, I guess that's how it feels to perform in front of a lot of people. Anyway, I love you lots. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now. I lose myself with strength. I think we don't